Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Oracle Application Testing Suite introduction. I am going to explain you on what is OATS and its products and moreover I will show you how to create a JD Edwards Enterprise One test script and play back the test script. I will start with what is an Oracle Application Testing Suite. Oracle Application Testing Suite is a suite of products for automated functional testing, load testing and test management of web, packaged and SOA based applications. There are three separately licensed products in Oracle Application Testing Suite, which are Oracle Functional Testing, Oracle Load Testing and Oracle Test Manager. Oracle Functional Testing is to automate functional and regression testing of web applications, packaged applications and SOA web services. Oracle Load Testing is to automate load testing of web applications, packaged applications and SOA web services. And Oracle Test Manager is to document and manage the overall testing process and include, uh, which includes uh, test requirements, test cases and issues. So now before I go with recording an Oracle JD Edwards Enterprise One test script, you should understand what is an open script. Open script is an Eclipse based scripting platform that provides a graphical user interface. Oracle functional testing and Oracle load testing both use the same scripting platform and scripts may be extended by using the Java programming language. I have been testing JDE applications over years, so I will take you an example of new hire application in JDE for use in this tutorial. To open the open script, you have to go to a start button and then go to all programs, select Oracle application testing suite and select open script which I already opened here. Select new from the file menu and select JD Edwards Enterprise One under functional testing folder and click next. Type in the script name. Before you type in the script name, make sure that you set the deposit, uh, default repository, which means you have to go to a, a tools menu and make sure that in the manage repositories, the path is set to default. So whichever script is created, it creates under this folder. So I can go back to the uh, file menu, new, select Oracle JD Edwards Enterprise One, click next and script, type in the script name. For example, my first JD script and select finish button. Once the finish button is, uh, is clicked, uh, open script creates the script project and shows the initialize, run and finish notes in the script view. So in this tutorial, I will open the new hire application in JD Edwards, record to hire a new employee and search for that hired employee. So to record, to record the script, uh, you can select record button on the toolbar or you can select the record option in the script menu. So select record button in the toolbar. Once you select the record button, the browser automatically opens. So type in the JD URL. Enter username password. And click sign in button. Once the JD page is loaded, you have to type in the, uh, the fast path for the work with address application. So for that it's P01012 and enter the press the enter key. Now to create the new employee select the uh, plus button here and then type in the uh, new address number the unique ad address number for example I'm typing 19191 19191 and type the alpha name robot name and then search type as E E is for employee and click save button so now click cancel button and now click find button to make sure that the employee that you just created or hired is showing up in the grid view. Click find icon here. 
yes the message that is for did not select the search type as e which is an employee so now applying for e now this is the record this is the address uh, employee you created now so now close this and then sign out from the jd application and stop recording now go back to the uh, open script tool again now see all the actions that you perform it created the um, all the actions are created as the ERC and that under tree view it shows as the actions here for each and every action it shows in the tree view as well as it also shows in the grid uh, in the java code so you can also manipulate either way you can change the code in the java view or java code view or the tree view, tree view. so we still have tabs to type in more information but i am not going to take you to for this tutorial um, so now let me run the same script before you run the script make sure that you change the unique id the address number and also the employee name if not the script fails right so go back to the tree view again and look for the user id that is correct password is okay it shows an encrypted one and go for the address number here you go address number change this address number now so that when you run the script that will not be a problem saying okay you have already have the address number change this to 19192 click ok and then go back to the name double click on this type for testing or whatever testing ok that's it now run the script now it should open the browser automatically and it enters the url it's launching currently okay Enters the fast path now. Open the work with address application. It, it will click on the plus button now. That's because you know we do not we are not searching for employee. Sense out now. That's it. Now see, go to the go back to the uh, tool again. When the playback is finished, expand the results here to see the uh, tree view. The results for each step group, like this. I see it shows for each step group here. It, it is initialized and ran, executed here, and finished everything. See, every, all steps shows here as passed. So there you go. So this is the script. It runs. So now you know uh, how to record a, web, a functional test script and play back the script. Thank you for taking time 
to watch this video. In the next video, you'll see uh, UPK integration with Oats Store. You can also read more tips on Oats in our blog. Visit smartbridge.com slash blog. Thank you.